So let's just revisit this concept of string casting, and we're going to use the str function here. So let's um, let's just throw some things into here and see what we get. So string is going to get that, and let's print string down here. I'm not going to worry about printing the type because we know it's going to be a string. So first off, uh, let's throw an integer in there. And as I said before, we're not going to see any clear indication that this is an integer uh, or that it's a string. That is, it's just going to be output to the terminal when we print it. So uh, maybe what I can do here is say times two, and we'll get a clear sense that it's a string because an integer would be 27 times 2, whereas this is now 27, 27, it's the repeating operator. So that's just going to give us a good sense of that. Now, uh, same thing with a float, right? We can just throw a float in there, and what we're going to see is um, float 27.9, 27.9, that's our output, which makes sense. We're just repeating the string twice. So what about uh, the keyword true? So let's throw a bool in there. This is something that might get you caught up here and there. If you have the word true, the string true, as opposed to the bool true, of course you're going to not be able to use the bool true as a boolean, right? You're going to, if you want to multiply false by three, you know, you might have an expectation of what that's going to give you, right? I'll just do that really quick to show you what I mean. False times 3 is going to give you 0, right? Because false uh, is effectively a 0-ish thing, and 0 times anything is 0. But false, the string, times 3 is going to yield false, false, false. So that wouldn't be what you expected. Uh, so, what about a list? So let's let's just have a list of numbers here, and take a look at what this outputs, right? So if you cast a list to a string, what do you get? And I'll take I'll take out this repeating operator right here, so we can just take a look at this. If I run this, notice this looks like a list being output, but it's not. It is actually it is actually a string of the list. And to kind of explain this a little further, uh, let's consider what the index one position of the string would be. It's two. Okay. Now what about index three? It's, you know, 0, 1, 2, 3. It's an empty space. And so we can assume that 2 is a comma. So this is not a list. It's a string of this output, right? This is, um, you know, just to give you kind of further evidence of this, I'll copy this string say string 2, it's going to get this, this is what we're seeing in our console, and I'm going to make this a string, right, we can see very clearly it's a string, and does string equal string 2? Well, let's find out. It does, it does equal string 2. So hopefully that gives you a sense of casting with a string, uh, to a string. If you want to cast from a string, we'll, you know, consider that in another video because there are some things that you'll want to make sure you account for.